you as know? a comedian, is there anything that's not on the table as far as joke wise, or do you feel like you can joke about anything as long as it's funny? To me, at first glance, I would think, hey, in a fucking comedy room, anything's on the table because it's comedy. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think there's part of it now that depends on where you're at. Like if you're in a comedy club, I think like. We're all in agreement. This is where ideas are going to get flushed out and explored and expanded upon. Yeah. So you're kind of on our home field right sure. now. But if you're doing like a corporate event where, you know, the business is paying sure. you to come entertain their employees or like the cruise ship industry, people are on vacation. They don't want you on this big political soapbox that you're going to be on or whatever you're going to say. They just want something that feels like comedy for their vacation. That's all they want. So, but like a comedy club, it's a matter of like, okay, well, we're going to try and like flush this out, but there is a big proponent of like, don't take the cake out of the oven and try and eat it when it's halfway baked. You know, I mean, on the way to jokes being great, there might be some stuff that is less than savory because yeah. of the presentation of the wording. Yeah. And then you realize, oh man, well, that's where I messed up. This is probably how it's more clear and concise. And that ends up being the thing. But I think it's just, you got to think your shit through. Yeah. I think there's a lot of comics that I hear that have been doing comedy for a long time. And they're just like, man, you can't joke about anything anymore. And I'm like, homie, if you're not a good writer, just say so. Like yeah. if you're not yeah. confident you in your ability funny. to Dude, do I'm, this, like it's just figure it bring out. This up because tonight I'm actually going to try a bit. I've only sure. tried once. Okay. Cause uh, and it's it's basically the story about how I was sexually assaulted by a guy. Okay. So that's something that I've done. I've done I've done it twice. Okay. But it's hard to do it like when I was in New York, it's hard to do that in like a 10 minute set when I do a spot. You know what I mean? It's so hard because so, things like that need to be you gotta earn the trust. Yeah, the that's why I, I can Christian when I have a longer set, you know, it's 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 fun yeah. to try that out. So um and uh so that's one thing I'm though I realized that there's this line you walk of like mm-hmm making sure people know that you're okay Mm -hmm. and making them uncomfortable, but also, and there's going to be a lot of, maybe a little bit of bombing until you get it to that place, right? And I'm actually happy. Like the first time I did it was also not a comedy club. Mm -hmm. It was the worst place to try it out. It was in Brooklyn at a storytelling show where people were not comedy fans. It was not a comedy club. And then I have this, (laughs) it's just very aggressive. You'll see it tonight, but it's actually, it works very well now. Okay. So I'm I'm excited to- um, Sure. So it's, that's the shit that, it, it, it can always, people are like, that is a very serious thing. Sure. But it's fucking funny if you, if you make it funny. And you it, can do it if it's funny. And it can be done yeah. the right way. Yeah. Enough thought has to be put into it. The presentation has, is, has to be considered, you know, are you punching down yeah. anywhere in the bit? Or is this just like purely, this is what happened. This is where I found the jokes in the situation. I think it has to have a purpose to when yes. you tell the story, right? It's like, I ask myself, do I tell the story just to have like a shock value and a shock story? No, yeah. there's a purpose. If you have a purpose of like, why am I telling the story? Yes. What's the message I want to convey? Yes. And then you have, it makes, it justifies the whole bit, however you yeah. want to get to that message. So yeah. I think that's important. Joan it Rivers is. once said that she will joke about anything. Yeah. Except for like a baby dying or something like that. Sure. And then my friend Zhao Ying, who I was featuring for. I know Zhao Ying. Yeah. So yeah. she has a bit about how she was basically aborted mm. because she was in China in the one, during the oh, one yeah, child yeah, policy. Yeah. Yeah. So she has a really funny bit about that. And wow. she makes it funny. And that is what Joan Rivers said you couldn't joke about. So I'm just, I think you could joke about anything. You that was her can. funniest bit. That you was her can. funniest bit. Yeah. I mean, because it's impactful, right? Because it's real. Most people also don't, I mean, people, because I've seen her set so many times when I was on the road with her, but people don't know that it's a, not a joke. They think it's, maybe it's a, it's a bit. No, you know, it's real. But most things yeah. we talk about as comedians. Oh, yeah. Except for, what's this thing with Hassan Minaj? Hassan right? Minaj. Yeah. Well, yeah. But even he, that, I was like, yeah. With his, I'm just like, yeah, when you start talking about like there's anthrax and your kid involved and that didn't happen, I'm like, yeah, yeah that's, that's a, probably an embellishment too far. Yeah, but I don't know. It's always like, I also read the New York, so if you guys don't know basically what happened, this comedian Hassan Minaj, yes. he, has a, he has multiple specials, very successful, mm-hmm. and he basically, New York Times did an article on him yeah. and it came out that a lot of the stories he told on his, in his special were not, Hundred percent true. Yeah, but he he was saying it was this emotional truth, which is a fun fun term. But no, <laughs> oh, I get that's it what he said. No, I don't know, no, but I, that's I, the I wrong kinda, answer. I watched, on. But I watched his like response <laughs> to it, and I feel like it's always there's two sides because New York Times. Mm-hmm. He, he actually released some of the phone calls with the New York Times oh, okay. and they took a lot of the stuff out of context. So I'm yeah. always whenever there's a publication or something happened that like 
you know, it's so easy to read the headline to be like, Hasan Minhaj is a liar. They but I it, always want to see this with a very, because I can make, with editing and taking things out of context, I can make you look like an abs. I mean, you oh, kind of yeah. look like a douchebag already. already. I can make already. you look like an absolute. I can make Jeff look like a racist <laughs> if I take things out of context. In this well, podcast, yeah. he said, you know. A couple more hairs on the mustache is going to happen. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Or a little bit less hairs on this side, you know. There you go. Yeah, it's right there. It's a, yeah, there you go. It's in the middle.